back everyone. We're here at CPAC sitting down with Leo Biasucci, House Majority Whip in Arizona. Hey Leo, real pleasure having you on Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So I understand you're one of the guys really behind this push on protecting the Second Amendment. Tell us what you're doing. Yeah, you know, it's uh, when the Biden administration uh, came into power and even before they came in, they made a lot of statements that were really concerning to me as a, as a state rep for Arizona about the Second Amendment. So. Uh, he made a comment about, we're going to come after your AR-15s, we're going to come after high-capacity magazines, we're going to make those illegal. And it was unfortunate that you have somebody in power like him who, who can do something and, and really just with a strike of a pen, which we've seen him do God knows how many times now since he's been in, and just change our laws. And so we thought, you know what, we need to do something at the local level. Arizona, we're Second Amendment friendly. We love our law-abiding citizens, gun owners. And so I have a bill, HB 2111 in Arizona, which passed the House yesterday. Party line votes, uh, 3129. Uh, all the Dems voted no, of course. And all it says is, it's very simple. It says if the federal government changes anything at the, at the federal level, Arizona is not going to play. We're not going to use money. We're not going to use resources to comply. If they ban AR-15s and they try to come in and start arresting people, not going to happen in our state. So the courts won't even mess with it. Our law enforcement won't mess around. And it's unfortunate you have to do that. But, you know, it's it's kind of funny where we took this. We took a page out of actually Jerry Brown in California. <laughs> so I don't know if you remember in 2017, he had his uh, uh, his bill for sanctuary cities. Yeah. And they passed it. It actually went through. And it was a similar thing. It said, if ICE comes in and tries to detain illegals, we're not going to help. We're not going to use resources. And so, and then it got upheld in court. Actually, they took it to court, got upheld. So I said, well, you know what? If that's going to be upheld, let's use the same kind of language, but apply it to the Constitution, right? To apply it to our Second mm -hmm. Amendment. So, in other words, Arizona is now a sanctuary city for gun rights. It w well, let's hope so. So <laughs> it, it passed the House. Uh, or sanctuary state. Sanctuary state, yeah. Mm -hmm. It passed the House. It's going to go to the Senate next, hopefully signed by the governor. But we're on, we're on our way. I mean, we have a, a, a majority in the Senate. Hopefully, I mean, Governor Ducey will sign into law. And, you know, I, I hate to use that sanctuary word because uh, it's had such a, you know, a, a bad thing with the, the illegal immigration. But it's really what it is. You know, you, you've had counties that have already done it in Arizona. You have sheriffs that come out and say we're not going to, you know, enforce any kind of laws that in, infringe our Second Amendment. So now we're saying, you know what, let's make it a, a state thing. And um, the only argument the left has, you know, in committee and on the floor was, you know, how do you... How do you tell the federal government what to do? How dare you do that? And it's, it's first of all, I say, you remember the, the states created the federal government, number one. And number two, my comeback was, well, how about marijuana? So all these states just passed marijuana. It's still illegal federally, but that's okay. But when it comes to the Second Amendment, let, you're going to push back on that. So it's just, it's almost comical to see, you know, they, they don't obviously care about our, our rights. They don't care about our constitution. And it's it's something we got to just fight to do, just, just to protect it and, and save it, so. Now, Democrats are pushing Biden to create this national gun violence director. What are your thoughts about this? I think it's ridiculous. You know, I think it's, um, you know, I've always been a firm believer in it's not the gun that's the problem, right? I mean, you, you look at these laws that try to hold the gun manufacturers responsible and, and when it's, it's the person behind the gun. So if you want to talk about mental health and going down that road, that's, you know, we can have that conversation with the Democrats. I'll, I'll talk to you all day about that. But when you're trying to come out and, and say that, you know, gun owners, you're talking about law-abiding citizens, the, crime, the criminal will always find the gun no matter what, right? You look at Chicago, you look at even countries that have strict gun laws and they have the highest crime out of anybody. So I think it's, it's a waste of time, a waste of money, but his administration talked about it since day one, and, and this is why we got ahead of the ball game. We said, all right, we got to do something now because he's going to try to do whatever he can to, to take away those rights. So now, now, part of Biden's push, you know, at least what he's pushing for when it comes to what he calls common sense gun control, right. is is basically removing legal protections for gun manufacturers where they could be sued, for example, if someone uses their guns in crimes. Right now. Could Ari if these say gun manufacturers moved to Arizona, could they go there and yeah, fight? they'd be protected, 100%. and they wouldn't be able to be prosecuted. How would this work? I mean, they could. So we can never stop the feds from coming in and, and doing what they want to do. But it's they're not going to get in the courts. It's not going to go anywhere because you're going to have the courts come in, and then they're just going to be thrown out. So this kind of gives that great protection, I think, for businesses to come to Arizona and say, "Hey, we're going to protect you guys." You know, and, and even that idea is so ridiculous. I mean, you think about, you know, if you get in a car accident. You know, they don't sue Ford if you're drunk behind the wheel and you cause the problem, right? They're going after the guy who's behind the wheel. So this is the same exact situation. The fact that they're going against gun manufacturers, it's just, it's ridiculous. So I urge and, and ask all these gun manufacturers, come to Arizona. We got low taxes. 
Uh, we're, we're trying to drop our income tax again this year. We're going to try to move it to a flat tax. Uh, we have a lot of land, uh, business friendly. Uh, we're open for business. So um, I tell everybody, hey, come to Arizona. It's uh, you know, the, the land of the free over there, the last <laughs> frontier. So. Now, when did this uh, just pass, this new, uh, this new law? So HB 2111 passed, uh, it was, went through the House two days ago. I apologize, yeah, it was two days ago. So it passed the House 3129. So it'll go to the Senate probably in a week or two, and then up to the governor. So. And what are I, the chances of it passing those two, how, the Senate and the governor? So the Senate uh, is the same thing. We have a two-seat lead. So uh, Senator Borelli is the majority whip over there. So as a whip, our job is to make sure we got the votes. So I've already put the pressure on him. I said, you better make sure you got everybody, because this thing needs to go through. Uh, so it's, and if it goes to the governor, I mean, it would, I, mean, I don't see how he doesn't sign this thing. I mean, this is, you know, we're a, a, a Second Amendment friendly state. We love our guns. I think we have just as many guns as we do people in the state of Arizona. And so I think it's going to pass. I think it'll be signed. Uh, extremely confident. So hopefully we'll know in about a couple weeks there. And yeah, have you heard an interest from other states on replicating this? Or are they just kind of waiting to see how it goes? You no, know, I think you have uh, about, I think five or six have already done it. They've already gone down this path. And, you know, Arizona is great because, you know, I think we, we kind of uh, set an example for a lot of states. So like you, you just said, they kind of see, all right, what, what are they doing? And, and we made sure that the language was constitutional when we did it. We made sure that we had no issues, went through our rules attorney, make sure the language was perfect. So a lot of other states can look at us and say, hey, they, they did it right. They, they vetted it and they can steal whatever language they want and, and make themselves a, the same thing. So I hope that happens. Great. And I guess just last thoughts. Yeah. I, I know a lot of your constituents are probably worried about these laws coming down from the sure. White House, worried about where the country's heading. What would sure. you tell them? You know, I tell them just to keep fighting. I mean, you know, this is um, you know, a, a blip in, in, in our country right now. We got to just, you know, I, I hate to see um, what's going on. You know, I think a lot of our freedoms are being stripped from us through the pandemic and and whatnot in this administration. But the good news is, you know, we have great people still fighting. You know, President Trump is not done. I know you have people like DeSantis is a, is a fighter. Um, you know, you have a lot of people that are in the party that are going to protect our Constitution. And I, and I tell them not to be discouraged. My biggest fear, you know, with this, when the election happened, with the election integrity, and in Arizona, we're still fighting for that. Uh, a lot of people, Republicans, said, what does it matter anymore that I vote? Who, if my vote it doesn't count, if it's being manipulated or stolen, why vote? And that's my biggest fear. I'm telling those people, you have to stick with it. You have good people coming up and they're going to protect us, that they will fight. You have people in Arizona that are, we, we're still fighting, right? The, the judge just ruled today that we can, we can look at the, the machine. So I'm telling these voters, don't give up. We have people that will take the arrows as, as legislators and people in the, in, in the, in the public eye. Uh, we want to make sure you get out there and, and, and fight to, to keep this country alive. I, I do not want to turn socialist. I don't want to turn into a Venezuela or, or any of these other countries. We're, we're a republic, and I'll never stop fighting for that, and same with my colleagues. Okay, thanks right. for being on Crossroads. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.